Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk With Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, uh, please like, subscribe, and share. And my friend Anika would like to eat more vegetables, and she recently uh, became interested in bok choy. Uh, her family came from India originally, and, and she did not grow up eating too much of uh, this type of vegetables. And when Anika started uh, eating bok choy uh, about several years ago uh, in a Chinese restaurant, uh, she really liked them. Uh, however, when she go to a uh, supermarket, and she quite often find there are different kinds of bok choy. Uh, so she asked me, uh, "Can I provide her with some instruction how to cook them, and uh, what kind of uh, other vegetables will go well with bok choy?" Uh, so in this video, I would like to demonstrate a uh, bok choy vegetable medley. And this dish is very fast to cook. It takes only about uh, five to seven minutes. At first, uh, there are different kinds of uh, bok choy, and the one in the middle, uh, which is the largest one, is the more traditional type of bok choy. Uh, they're much larger, uh, and their texture tend to be more tough. And this kind of bok choy has been around for a long time. And in recent years, uh, there are what. Is known as baby bok choy. Uh, the one on the left uh, is uh, known as green stem bok choy because the stem of the bok choy is green. Uh, they are also known as Shanghai bok choy, uh, probably because of their popularity uh, in that city. Uh, the baby bok choy on the right is known as the white stem bok choy uh, because the stem is white in color. In this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to prepare and cook the white stem bok choy. Uh, what I've shown you is actually a template. Uh, you can use this template to cook different kinds of bok choy. Uh, unlike other kind of bok choy, the white stem bok choy actually comes with little flowers. I cut the bok choy into bite size by first cutting them in half. And then I split the bok choy stem uh, into three or two portions, uh, depending on the size of the stem. After I cut them, I will rinse them uh, in water. Uh, depending on the source of the bok choy, uh, quite often uh, they will be contaminated by soil or sand, and they often are uh, caught in the stem. It is important that you. Cut them first uh, before you wash them, because this is the best way uh, for you to get rid of this sand and soil. After I cut them, I store them in plastic container in the refrigerator, and they have really good shelf life. Uh, usually, they last about ten days to two weeks after you prep them. And if you store them uh, in the bag that they came in, uh, they usually last much shorter. Uh, prepping them like this, they will be ready any time you want to use them. And I use them to cook uh, multiple different dishes. Uh, in most bok choy recipes that you find online, uh, they cook by themselves. Uh, for some people, that is fine, but for me, it is far more interesting to cook bok choy in a vegetable medley. At uh, this way, you will make the dish more interesting. And you can cook bok choy in many different types of dishes、uh, by using different combinations of vegetables. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to cook a bok choy medley, and then、uh, also with a shallow fry fish,、uh, which is a striper、uh, that、uh, my neighbor caught in his pond. I just finished shallow fry the striper、uh, in my cuisine 14-inch stainless steel wok. So I really don't need to wash the wok because I'm going to combine the two dishes together.、Uh, for this dish, I'm going to use about five cups of bok choy.、Uh, it might seem a lot on the surface,、uh, but、uh, the leaf will cook down very quickly.、Uh, when you first put the bok choy into the wok, it seems to fill the wok, and this is the reason why it is good to have a larger wok. So my recommendation is always to go with a 14-inch wok.、Uh, this will provide you with a lot of room、uh, initially to stir-fry leafy vegetables. 
And here I use a pair of long handled tongs uh, to stir fry the bok choy. And because when the leaf is large, it is much easier uh, using a tong versus using a wok spatula. And once the leaves are cooked down, I will switch to a wok spatula. And this will make the stir frying the bok choy much easier. And the leaf is not the part of bok choy that you eat, it is the stem. And because as you cook, the leaf will gradually shrink. And this will be very similar if you try to stir fry spinach. And the stem, that is what remain, and that is what you eat. And the key in cooking a bok choy successfully is to control the texture of the stem. Uh, you can cook the stem in such a way that they will remain uh, crispy and crunchy. However, you can cook them longer uh, so that they become very soft. Uh, personally, I prefer my stem to be soft, whereas my wife likes the stem to be crisp and crunchy. Uh, so when I cook bok choy, I always try to uh, reach a happy medium. And by now, the bok choy is about 50% cooked to the texture that I want. And next, I add the next ingredients, which I add uh, 2 cups of yellow squash and 1 cup of zucchini. And now, yellow squash and zucchini has very different texture and flavor uh, in comparison to the bok choy. Uh, cooking them together combined an interesting contrast. And this will make the dish far more flavorful than if you just cook the bok choy or the yellow squash and zucchini by themselves. And this is truly an example that the whole is greater than the sum. I add the zucchini and the yellow squash a bit later uh, because uh, I want to cook them a little bit less than the bok choy. Uh, this way, I can control the texture of the ingredient exactly the way I want them to be. Uh, I decided that the texture of the bok choy is just about right after I did a taste test. I'm going to season the dish in a combination with uh, 1 teaspoon of minced ginger and 1 teaspoon of minced garlic. A bok choy has very delicate flavor, and you do not want to overwhelm it with uh, a lot of seasoning. And ginger and garlic goes really well with bok choy. And I would suggest you to use this as a starting point. We can always modify it. In this case, I add half teaspoon of garlic pepper. And this is followed by half teaspoon of my basic seasoning mix. You can take a look at this video to learn more about what I have in this seasoning mix. Uh, the last ingredients I'm going to add is some uh, tomatoes. I add the tomato right at the end uh, because I do not want to cook the tomato too much. So with a few quick stir, uh, the dish is done. And the total cook time is fast. It takes only about 7 minutes to cook this dish. Uh, I serve this bok choy vegetable medley uh, with uh, a fish that I shadow fry. And the fish came from my neighbor's pond, and it is a, a striper. I cannot emphasize more. Uh, to cook this dish successfully, uh, advanced prepping really help. I cook this meal in about 20 minutes. Uh, from the time I walk in the kitchen, uh, two dinners being served on the table. Uh, this dish is a demonstration of my fast cooking system. Uh, with flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking, it makes home cooking practical, efficient, creative, and fun. Uh, the main reason that I can cook so quickly uh, is uh, advanced prepping, uh, because I don't have to do any prepping as I start to cook. Uh, the baby bok choy is a good example uh, because uh, I prep the baby bok choy, uh, the bag that I purchased allow me uh, to use it to cook actually four different dishes. And this is also true with the other four ingredients because I already have them prepped. As my friend Bill told me that, uh, in order to make home cooking sustainable, you must be able to compete uh, against the convenience offered by fast and processed food. 
Uh, if it takes over one hour uh, to cook a meal, uh, most people probably would not do it. But as you can see here, you can cook a healthy and delicious meal in 20 minutes. And so, if you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. I post a video every day, so I will see you tomorrow.